tonight on the season three premiere of Old Spirits. OSI reunites with their Charleston, South Carolina contingent, Boo and Zombie, and visit an undisclosed property steeped in a nearly lost past. In their investigation, a history emerges of incredible potential and injustice, and a town called Maryville reaches out from the darkness, refusing to go forgotten. So at this point, I'm going to just go. I'm going to take that indication, that no. See that that time is bad? That time is bad. There's a box because. Charleston, South Carolina, named after the English king, Charles II, was founded in 1670, becoming the fifth largest city in North America within 10 years. Even today, commercial shipping remains paramount to its economy. The city, home of the fourth largest container seaport on the East Coast and the seventh largest container seaport in the United States. Charleston is also known by some as Silicon Harbor, the city a popular location for high tech and innovation. The expansion of cotton as a cash crop between the American Revolutionary War and American Civil War led to huge wealth for a small segment of society, but also escalated the importance of the slave trade. On June 17, 2018, the Charleston City Council apologized for its role in the slave trade and condemned its inhumane history. It also acknowledged wrongs committed against African Americans by slavery and Jim Crow laws. At the close of the American Civil War, several formerly enslaved families bought up land from the Hillsboro Plantation and founded the small town of Maryville in 1886, named after Mary Just, a teacher and prominent local figure in the early establishment of the community. The town included its own post office, general store, and its own police force, widely regarded as a model of black self-government. However, the South Carolina General Assembly citing concerns of safety to Maryville's surrounding communities, revoked the town charter in 1936. This quiet annexation of Maryville took place after the Wilmington, North Carolina insurrection of 1898 and the Tulsa massacre of 1921. Details of both events cited in this episode's description. These chain of events leading to the annexation of Maryville are worth noting as these facts were not made known to OSI when investigating the property. Welcome back, everyone, to season three of Old Spirits. Do you know how good it feels to say that? Man? Oh, I was thinking about that as we were <laughs> setting up that we're entering our third season of doing this, and and we're we're slowly upgrading. We've got now the we got the wireless uh, the wireless pros from Rode. Not not a sponsor. Hashtag not a sponsor, but hashtag one day. And uh, we we we've been we've been um, you know upgrading the, the the shooting the shooting arrangement, um, the lighting. Everything everything feels good. Yeah, everything's re yeah. feels I real mean, good. We've learned a lot so far in this journey, and I think I said it on one of our last recordings. It's been neat to be able to share our evolution yeah. because when you are watching the shows you see produced on on TV or even some of these YouTube channels that have been around for years it it that's not how things start there's you know there's a learning process for everybody that does this it's part of the charm of YouTube it's it part of the charm of, of YouTube charm because of YouTube. You, you get to see how raw things are with yeah. all these different uh, yeah. groups, whether it's Amy's Crypt, whether it's Paranormal Quest, yeah. whether it is um, uh, the, our good friends over at uh, Project Fear. You know, yeah. I mean, it's it's an evolution, yeah. and we're here now. And I think this is also a, a terrific episode, a terrific investigation to kick off concerning that evolution because now we're here mm -hmm. talking about what was supposed to be season two's closer now season three's opener mm -hmm. charleston south carolina with boo and zombie yeah. and there's a lot to unpack in this particular investigation this was a somewhat different investigation for you and i yeah 
particularly for me. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind. For I, don't, you. I don't mind putting that out there, yeah. particularly for me. <laughs> and we'll be going more into that in a five-minute paranormal. We'll be going more into that uh, in part two of this investigation. Yeah. I think we should say though a special thank you to Nick McGear yes. of Stories in the Cemetery. That was another boot camp for us, yeah. if you will. I really enjoyed walking around Charleston, getting yeah. that, getting not just an in-depth look at the history of the city, but also just getting uh, um, a lot of fantastic perspectives on paranormal investigation. Yes, from uh, Nick. Nick, very knowledgeable about not just the city, uh, but about the gear that he uses on his what he calls interactive ghost tours, uh, but then also really knowledgeable about the different theories and perspectives in the paranormal field, and then of course his own insights, which for you and I, I think he he shared some different perspectives on on certain topics for really us, did. which is something that we love. You know, yeah. we love being challenged. We love being challenged to think outside mm -hmm. the box. So if you are in Charleston. Look for stories in the cemetery. He does his interactive tours, these interactive experiences, uh, pretty much every night of the week. Yeah, and what we got from his investigation, we couldn't quite turn it into an episode. So what we're doing is we're setting that footage aside for uh, a members-only Patreon um, special event, and we'll f you'll find out more about that as season three continues. Yes. But we're going to start off season three with a look at uh, an undisclosed location that we can only call Maryville. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you saw the, the history segment about Maryville. And a big thank you, by the way, to Boo and Zombie, who had to pivot and make stories in the cemetery in Maryville happen. Yes, some plans fell through at the last minute. At the very last minute, which, yeah. Which can happen sometimes. It, it does, which it can, does. But, uh, but they managed the situation Without a without a without a pause, absolutely, we were on track that whole whole weekend. Yeah, and um, now we get to the actual house. So we we go to this house, and there was a heaviness to the place. Yeah, from straight the moment, off the bat, from the moment that we, we pulled moment up, we in. yeah, we got out of the cars. Mm -hmm. It um, it, I think it tickled the senses. Yeah. It tickled the senses. It tickled the senses. Why don't we just go on ahead and jump in, and we'll take you into that house, and then we'll meet you back here for the couch commentary, okay? Sounds like a plan. Here we go. Would anyone object to me putting up a grid, or would you rather just leave this room accessible? No, I do as you wish. <laughs> do as you wish. Mm -hmm. right. How did you guys all find each other? Uh, oh, it's a long story. Sorry. That's uh that's your EMF reader. And what you want to be careful about with this one is ooh, yes it is. Uh what you want to be careful about is if you get your EMF reader close to your camera, the camera might set it off. Or say not. Went down, <laughs> right now. It totally or just went down when I put my camera to it. Janice. Oh, I'm in front of your oh, That's yes. okay. That's I'm okay. Sorry. No, you're fine. You're fine. I hope they enjoyed my bath. That's okay. <laughs> so to answer your question, yes. um, they gave us Phil and I had just started mm -hmm. paranormal investigating and um, Is your name Janice? The Ghoulie Girls here are we're on a live stream, which is the same live stream that I'm doing here. Okay. And I heard um, them say they were interested in getting into paranormal Janice? investigation. No, your name is no not. So, oh. ooh. so I invited them to join us whenever, whenever it was possible, yeah. and that's kind of how this, this whole thing happened. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, very cool. <clears throat> so you've been uh, t checking out some of the items we have here. That one in the center, the one with the green light and the blue light. Sorry, the green light and the red light. You've seen how you can make the light change green and red so we can actually have a conversation. It's just a nice little way to let us know that you're here. So if you're a man, would you make that light go red? 
If you're a woman, would you make the light go green? Please. I should probably start by introducing myself. <clears throat> My name is T, and I'm I'm not from around here. Ooh. Hair. Hair. This is my first visit to Charleston. It's been a wonderful visit. And I'd just like to hear your story. So can you make the light go red if you're male, green if you're female? Can I try another tactic? Can I come into the room? Green, yes, I can come into the room. Red, no, I don't want you coming into the room. So I am from Virginia. I was born and raised in Richmond, and now I live just outside of Washington, D.C. <clears throat> Front. Friend. Friend. Front. 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 Oh, I Front wonder, room. you said, should we come Where? in here? It's the front Where? room. Well, I was thinking, my brain immediately went to Civil War. Who? And Who? I almost feel like it's getting caught where? up. Where? Who, where? You said where, where twice? From so, where, who, where? Yeah. That's the front room. So front room, dining room, <clears throat> green okay. room, back room. But this is considered the front room, you mm -hmm. said? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Well, let me, let me go on ahead. I'm going to come in. Again, I'm going to give you the option, though. If if you don't want me here, the red light can go off and I will leave. If you're okay with it, you can make the green light go off. But I'm just gonna sit over here. Oh, this is a nice couch. This is a really nice couch. It's comfy. Mm -hmm. okay. Don't worry, I'm not gonna put my feet up here. That would be rude, wouldn't it? So I got to tell you, uh, Charleston is absolutely gorgeous. It's a gorgeous where? city, Charleston, where we are right now. <laughs> and I was really enjoying the stars. They were so beautiful. Beautiful starlit night. <clears throat> and there's so much history. There's so much history. So it's kind of nice. I get, I get my science fiction and I get my fantasy. I get the history and I get the, the future. Wow. And we can't, we can't go in that room. That's the room we're not allowed to go in. Yeah. Okay. And see if you can back that footage up a little bit. Okay. What happened? All right. Huh. We just had some uh, very interesting stuff happen back there. Back left, back left room? Back, back left room. Okay. Okay, and that room popped up now. Um, no, are you going to back that footage up a little bit and look at it? You got another no, 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 no. Or would you rather wait? No, I'll grab all of it and then okay. I'll, but we'll mark so, it. So mark it, the, well, just save it. Yeah, I'll save mark it. it, a bunch of times. Yep. Mark so it, mark it, mark it, mark it. But we'll so, mark it, so mark it. The well, just say I'll say market a bunch of times. Yep. So market, market, market. <laughs> but we'll market. So, so market. The well, just say I'll say market a bunch of times. Yep. So market, market, market. <laughs> where it is. So it looks Thirsty. like a baby human shape coming through there, from, coming through that. Oh, great! Against the wall. I don't know where it was behind me. Any sources on 
the opposite side of the wall. I thought maybe it was like a fence. Yeah, oh, okay. Any heat sources on the, the opposite side of the wall. I thought maybe it was like a fence. Yeah, oh, okay. Any heat sources on the, the opposite side of the wall. I thought maybe it was like a thermal okay. reflection of her. Uh, had her I remember the battery we were using. Yeah. Um, and we were just oh, yeah. having some yeah, yeah. experiences. Uh, it was that room that's close. And, <laughs> and then uh, ghost stop bag. I said, okay, well, we're going to take if off now. bring the ghost stop bag to me, I'll get it. Okay, thank you. felt like you were you know, at that moment. And the REM pod just went. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I heard that in there. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so, yeah. There are a lot of people talking cool. right now. That's good. Did you, uh, do you feel all right? Do you mind all this? Yeah, I just need to cool off a little bit. Yeah. You want to sit? You're okay with the excitement? Why don't you just take a, yeah. take a little bit? Yeah, we'll move this around. If you, if you prefer the people. That took a lot. Oh, yeah, I think that. Anything with sugar in it, like a soda or anything like that. Yep, that I got my help. drink right here. Okay. <laughs> I'm that, sorry. That'll you help know, bring baby. it back around too. Oh, it's gonna stop. Good. I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. No, you're good. Uh, good. Off. Take a look. That was that was fairly intense. So you're you're okay to be feeling that way. That's an absolutely uh, natural response. Have you done this much before? I have never done this before. Really? I have always First felt this. I've always, cool. like, my friends would take me places and they're like, take her because, I don't know. <sighs> you, you, you seem to have sort like of a natural school? knack for it. It's it, so awesome, but it's kind of like, <laughs> yeah, I feel like really tired right now yeah. and like sweaty. Yep, that's why sitting is a good thing. Drink, put some uh, sugar in you. You hold up for a minute. I need to get something to drink. That was you. We got. Oh wait, maybe that was you. Actually. I do find it funny though, Phil. The the uh, uh, Chuck in here was going off left and right. Oh yeah. Now it's calmed down. Can you Ooh, tell you know us what? about the school? Sort of dressing. I'm going to got to go drop my audio puck in that back room. Doctor? Just for funsies. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you did. What was that? If you're very perceptive, be careful. And she's gone. Is it? And I'm alone. Hello, chat. As soon as he turned the light off, man, it was like. Burr, burr, burr. Yeah. Oh, she is the cool. recorder. And it was the, it was like the most famous Witch? whisper. You we could are like, not you could like almost not. We hear are it. not witches. Yeah. Do we keep getting where? Which? No, no. I said I heard where. Where we get where a lot. Where has been like that's like what the third or fourth time. With, yeah. Like, uh, where? For where? But they just said which. Um, this what? stuff may seem pretty uh, hey, um, I'm crazy. A, I'm a witch. <laughs> I'm a witch. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, oh, I didn't oh, know. Oh, oh, But that could be why. But that, yes, could that could be why. I'm sorry, I didn't. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> no, you're sorry. perfectly fine. I. That's why I've just. It's a natural thing for me to be able to just. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I feel better now. It's it's an awesome like it's an awesome feeling, but it's like they're using my they're using my energy always. Take a second. That you're using up. We got another witch. So that's just what they're saying. Um. So this it's ghost tube. Um. And it pretty much they the, it's, it has words that they okay. can use. Okay. And from that list, they <sighs> can say stuff to us. Okay. Oh my gosh, we're going to yourself. Who do you want to show themselves? So I should feel like, I feel like we should make it clear. We don't want you to think that we want you to perform, do circus tricks. School anything odd like that. All we want to do is establish a connection and talk with you. And I have uh, I have friends near and far. They're watching as well. Where? Uh, oh, I've got... Uh, that's a good one. Here. There, the, it, 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 it's on, the, the re repetition of where almost makes you feel like we're talking to one of the kids. Right. It's, it's like one of the kids is. They keep on saying they square. Yeah, yeah, where, school. where, where, school. Yeah. Where, where. Well, right now I have, I have on, um, on one of my cameras, I have somebody. Where? The camera that is on the table. Show yourself. I, uh, I have a friend from California. 
I've got uh, my wife in Virginia, Ooh. all over, watching and wondering what's going on here tonight. I hate to interrupt your conversation, but your camera battery back there is completely drained. Well, that's because probably I didn't it out, so. I mean, it's like red. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Show yourself. Um, Again, fourth time, um, third time. Do you want me to plug you into a power brick? Um, what, mine? If, uh, yeah, actually, if you want to put it into a power brick, I've yeah. got a power brick here. I got one right here, man. Oh, you got a power brick already? Yeah, and I think I have the right cable for you, too. Okay. Let me know if you don't. Okay. Hey, we are recording. Power back up. Yep. Where did you go? Back with you. Where are you going? Well, you were choosing the battery. Go with Phil. Okay, I'm coming back. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. You might want to go to the background. Fine. Sorry, correct. Coming in. Where? How did I get the whole battery? It's really interesting. Oh, it keeps saying, where, 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 where? Can do that? Show yourself in school. Yeah, yeah. Well, Save I kept getting that over. I yeah. like over. you. Oh, oh, like you. oh, that's very sweet. That's always nice. That's always nice. Yeah. No, they're actually really, they're, they're really nice here. Yeah, I think you are correct. School. School. Now, is that here, or is this? It's not, not here. What did I say? It's doctor. doctor. It's not uncommon for them to say goodbye and good morning and stuff too. Like when I used to come in here and do work, I'd come in with the spirit box going first thing in the morning and they're like waiting in the door and they're like, morning, morning, morning. Like they were just like ready, you know? Okay. I thought it was my camera, but it's it's not. It's not. And there's no power in this right. house right now, which I did specifically for this. So we'd be like, okay, play, we're playing around again with the devices. So we got, so do we want to, do we want to try talking again? Do you have the grid? Yeah, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about popping up the grid. There you go. That was a beat. Yeah, that was, that was the Show yourself. <laughs> Show yourself. Okay. Would you like me to come back into the room and have a seat? Because I'm noticing now when I leave the room, you're making all my devices go off. But when I sit there, you didn't want to do a thing. <laughs> So how about this? Let's play a game. Green means yes. Red. Uh, no. This, <laughs> no games. No games. Wow. <laughs> As you can see, there was an added challenge in tonight's investigation, with two individuals curious about the paranormal participating alongside OSI. Throughout the night, Ghost Tube replied, but equipment interactions were at a minimum until roughly eight minutes later. Do you think equipment interactions occurring in pockets of time are proof of a haunting? Or do you believe interactions should be happening consistently during an investigation? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. I, yeah, BCE. Well, you can't okay, I, <laughs> oh. okay, that's a first. That was a first. So, the little voice monitor went off and said hello to everyone. School. So, at this point, I'm going to just go. The little voice monitor went off and said hello to everyone. School. So, at this point, I'm going to just go. The little voice monitor went off and said hello to everyone. School. So, at this point, I'm going to just go. Is going to just go school? Now. I heard that too. Wait, can we, can we pause for a second? Did someone just go, school? No. No. Because I heard it too. Are you shitting me? Not to use foul language. You heard that? I heard it. It was like a weird voice. Yeah. It, oh my gosh. Use foul language. You heard that? I heard it. It was like a weird voice. Yeah. It, oh my gosh. Use foul language. You heard that? I heard it. It was like a weird voice. Yeah. It, oh my gosh. My all the hair is standing up on end right now. <laughs> that was crazy. That was one of the most clearest disembodied voices I've heard. Hey goggles. Why is it so shaky though? <laughs> <laughs>
please let us know if the like, tree does not or you it properly. I was just going to ask you. How, how is, uh, is, it looks good so far. What you want to like open this up? Like, a, well, no, no, no. Well, I'm, I'm following you guys. Oh, you so are as soon as you're done, we're going to go and I'm going to take okay. chat back there. Okay. Okay. I asked about Janice. That was a science. Oh, yeah. That was a science nerd. Oh, that was. That was me. Yeah, that was me. No, that was me. Okay. Yep. It was all Can you go? Pretty much full cool battery here. Sorry, cool. I have some of my fair share of couches like that you. are old, but the... Oh. But the I like you, too. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> it said I like people. Did it say I like people? I like you. I heard I, like I, heard I like you. Yeah. Oh, I like you. Okay. I like you. Can I... Can you show your letter? Like you just communicate. Like perfect. Yeah. Okay. We are, we're just enjoying the space here. We're just uh, trying to get a feel yeah, for it. Yeah, they need it. That's pretty much what it's there for. Who's here? If Who's someone's here. Can you us. use the light that would slide into here into this spot? Because if you look. Oh, yes, I can. Yeah, so. Can one of you have a got kind of quiet on us just to grab the TikTok one? Yeah. Um, so you can hold that. Where's our um, where's so our light? Like art in here? Yeah. Science and I. That's in there and then. I like science, but I prefer to strong. It should just turn on its charge. Very good. Yeah. I love the strong. I still love this. How's everybody doing? Yeah. I love the strong. I still love this. How's everybody doing? Yeah. I love the strong. I still love this. How's everybody doing? No. Light okay, because I love green plates. I love. Are you okay? Bright. We have a bright light. I still love bright. Yeah. Okay. I just yeah, wanted to mess up your room. That's why I like that. We'll experiment. <laughs> yep. Oh, all right. I get it. If you wanted to make me happy, just let me let me write an essay, and I'm good. Right. Show yourself, which. Did I say twitch? That said, show yourself, which. Yeah, show yourself, which. Any witches here tonight? We do have one. Um, yeah, there's one. There's there. one. There is one witch here. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Remember Betsy. the girl? Betsy. Betsy. Oh. Where is she? Mm -hmm. She went into the other room. I think. In the back. Yeah. Let's go check on her. Okay. Yeah. Right. Make sure she's okay. Yeah, and if you wouldn't hurt, hurt, wouldn't hurt to go and check. I keep yeah. hearing like a little kid's voice. Because, I mean, they keep on asking about it. That's a bright ass light. All right, we are recording and we are heading into the back room. The back room was the place to be for a while. Maybe since they left one. Because we also got to show yourself which. You know, and, 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 yep. and it's, it's a lot. There's sometimes, sometimes there's, sometimes there's consistency. Sometimes just, did you want the, did you want those folks to come back? If you want some of those people to come back, go on ahead and make the green light go off. If you're okay with us sitting here, if you're okay with Vanessa and I sitting here and my chat over here, you can make the red light go off again. You can make it go off again. So green, I can get some more people back in here. Show yourself. I mean, we're, we're right here. And we'd love to talk to you. Where? Right here. Ooh. Southern. Strange. Southern. In they were calling you. I heard that. Southern in its. In its what? This is a lead up for a, for, for a bad joke. I'll be, I'll be really there, isn't, there isn't a pillow on that couch, is there? Yes. Okay. Well, what you're getting is you're getting the shadow um, of the it's, arm it's rest. my light. It's my light and it's the armrest. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. Like I said, this is where this is what drives uh, this is what drives Phil nuts is when I de debunk everything. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my head mic back on. Show yourself. Again. I'm right here. Hello. School. What type of school? No thanks. No thanks. School. Yeah. 
school. What type of school? No thanks. No thanks. School. What type of school? No thanks. No thanks. What type of school? Betsy, if you do me a favor, would you mind taking like a few steps in that direction? Thank you. Thank you. Show Not yourself. Normal. There's no need to apologize. <laughs> It's hard enough. It's hard enough to end paranormal investigation. It's even tougher when you want to live stream it. So that's that's my two cents. <laughs> you I forgot right. you were doing that. <laughs> so you're gonna set that off. There you go. I just want to see what goes on when I oh, sit here. No, that's fine. That's fine. Put your feet a little bit. Yeah, that's good. The repetition of both school and show yourself on Ghost Tube continued on throughout the night. We do present a final count of these instances later in the episode. We believe the repetition of school is related to the former town of Maryville, presented in the history segment of this episode. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and enable notifications for when part two of this investigation goes live and we discover more about what is residing in this house. So we've been sitting here, we're, we're trying to get to know you, and you, you know about me. You just won't. You actually told me to be quiet about my school, so <laughs> how about I find out something about you? Can you help? There he goes. Oh my goodness. Can you tell me oh, if, you're, really if you're a man or a woman? Oh. Let's try this. Let's try this. How are you feeling? Are you a boy kind or of a girl? Like breathless. So, red Do for you boy, stop and take a second? green for girl. I'm, I'm, I'm good, I'm going to keep going. Is that a motion chart? Yeah, that's, that's us. That's that's us. us. So, ah, yeah. okay. That's us. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go get back with the going into the twin. You got to really right, watch your eyes. Can you feel it? Is it wide when I reach across you? It does feel kind of. It's sixty-two point six right now. I'm like Ooh. cold. Ooh. I'm really Ooh. cold. All of a sudden, it's a little, it's a little chilly down here. It wasn't this yeah. cold right now. Okay, so first thing, go check. Okay, there is a vent, but I don't think there's any HVAC coming out of there. 61 over here, right by me. Okay, let me ask this. Do you, are you worried about talking to strangers? Do you, do you not want to talk to us? Green, want to talk to you. Red, leave me alone. And it's okay, you can be honest. You can be more than honest. We can, we can leave you alone. No thanks. Mm hmm. 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 Let's see how just ask the answer. You just fight it? Well, it just fight uh, as a low end up over here. No. Okay, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that indication. That no. <laughs> Uh, uh, that time uh, that time uh, there's candy yet. Uh, there was one. Hey, hi, I'm the pilot. But we got another thanks over here. Is, is in this room. All right, I'm gonna. Where? Uh, did you did you catch it first? That's awesome. No, because I'm not. No. Uh, this wouldn't, this wouldn't cause that to go off. Now, if I were to extend my foot right here. Give me nine, boy. Wait a minute. It's hard to say. It's in, for me, it's indecisive. I, I've, I've been in a situation where I've had a really cold spot, and it's it's dramatic. 
But then there's there's just people chilling over there, and it is chilly outside. And we don't have any uh, kind of care of circulation or HVAC in here, so so it's kind of for me, it's in the sense. However, getting no thanks, getting a red light, even though it might have been there, might not have been there, and getting <laughs> just to throw you off, <laughs> just when you're about to finish your pieces. There they now go. Now you're messing with me. That's great. Yeah, and that's yeah, why. Nice Good job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not fair. <laughs> oh, the cat ball. No thanks. Went off. That second time it went off. <laughs> Nobody's ever, I'm not moving. So that's how it works. Okay, guys. No, no, no. It's just. group coming next day. <laughs> Let's have some fun. Feel free to mess with them. That'd be great. That's yeah. actually a really good opener, I should do that. <laughs> I should do that. No, there. Somebody got a candy thrown at them in the back. Yeah. yeah. It keeps yeah. going off. And it was on, it would have been on tape too, because I had rig one sitting there the whole time, silently watching, waiting for something. So that's pretty cool. Are you over by the TV? And I'm just gonna, um, if you're if you're okay with that, I'm gonna see if I can get them to talk too. Um, I'm gonna see if I can. Yes, I'm gonna come through on the spirit box for a minute, and would you maybe talk to you guys that way? Would you? Um, I have the. Well, which spirit box are you using? Do you want uh, the the eleven. The sorry what? The SB eleven. Oh, okay. I was going to offer my SB11 if you wanted to use it. Oh, you got one. Oh, wait, wait, that's a horrible color. <laughs> <laughs> if you think that's infrared, it's not. No, there, oh, there you go. Sorry. <laughs> that's like, See, Phil? I know, I'm walking in front of all the cameras. You're talking about the green light. I know. I'm talking about the green light, Phil. He, 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 hasn't, he hasn't blasted it in my eyes. Well, that's because you're not looking to the light, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> No beer for you when we get back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are fun, too. I love fun. What happened there? No, no, no. What, what is all that? You know how they say it like, feels like cobwebs? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I touched my hair, my head. Interesting. And like, like it, it went like, like. And it just said, like, like, like that. Wait a minute. The hairs on my body stand up. <laughs> but it just said body to you. Yeah, and we were talking about that just about it. <laughs> That's cool. So that's a look at the front room. That was where I spent most of my time. And of course, we got what happened with you, Boo, and Zombie in the back room with the main bed. Which still boggles my mind. <laughs> it still boggles my mind. Right. It just... And about that front room, which I thought was really fascinating, and I didn't realize it at the time, I knew I kept hearing it again and again, but I actually kept count of school, where, and show yourself. Yeah. Those were the three recurring phrases constantly coming in through Ghost yeah. Tube. Yeah. School showed up 16 times with two EVPs, as you, as you heard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, where showed up 15 times, show yourself a whopping 17 times. Wow. wow. And I'm, I, I was, really wasn't sure about the connection to the place until uh, we were talking to our historian, my wife, Pip Ballantyne, and she did some digging. Something we're going to be talking about, the importance of knowing your property. We're going to be talking about that in part two as well. But she revealed that, yes, there was a school on this premises at one time. And it's similar to a school that exists in Manassas. It was started by former enslaved people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it is a school that teaches people that were once uh, property, that would teach them a trade, whether it's welding, yeah, whether it's yeah. plumbing, you know, yeah. something along those yeah, lines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Maryville was actually uh, a, a prosperous area. Yeah. It was it was doing very very yeah. well for itself. Yeah. And the, the 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 reoccurrence of those things, and then to hear those EVPs. Yeah. One that you actually heard in real time. Yes. Yeah. I mean, which was it was one of those few disembodied voice experiences mm -hmm. where you are one hundred percent sure that you know exactly what you heard. After this investigation, though, after this this particular episode, we then moved to the back room, and I came in about halfway through, but we actually have your footage yes. earlier on about what was happening in that double bedroom. Right, and so that's going to be 
in our next installment. Right. Um, <laughs> in reviewing that footage, even though I cannot attest to the historical accuracy of the story that was being told through the through the responses, the repeated names, the things you're going to hear, it was it certainly uh, gave me pause. And we do have some corroborating notes on names. We have some mm -hmm. corroborating notes about that particular area yeah. and what was there. And we have a lot to talk about in part two. We're talking about how to build a narrative from what we're, uh, from what we're finding. Mm -hmm. We're also going to be talking a little bit about what happens when something goes wrong in investigation. <laughs> yes. Because we caught that on film as well. Yes. And, and again, we're going to reserve that for part two. But we hope you enjoyed this episode. And if there was gear that you saw during this investigation that you really enjoyed seeing in, in action, like the Eddy, um, our, our brand new spike. And, of course, the vibration sensor. Brand new piece of kit. Brand That's new piece right. of kit, which yeah. is a lot of fun to use. You can find all this gear and more at GhostStop.com. And as a matter of fact, Old Spirits, we are Ghost Stop affiliates. You'll notice a link in the episode description. Click on that link and it'll take you over to Ghost Stop where you can find all these gadgets. And it's a great way to support our channel. And another great way to support this channel is to like and subscribe and of course enable notifications for whenever we put up new content, whether it's a paranormal personal, whether it is a live evidence review, which we're now doing in association with Twitch, and also uh, a live investigation. Go on ahead and make sure to support the channel that way. It really really helps us out at old Big times. Big so again, <laughs> thank you for joining us for the beginning of season three. We have so much to show you and we're really thrilled that you're going to take this journey with us. On behalf of everyone here at Old Spirits, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the field.